the car you see here is a Honda Civic Type R with a major difference. It's a one-off concept car aimed at unleashing the Civic's potential. It's lighter, it has no rear seats, its suspension has been tweaked and it makes 237 horsepower. It's called the Civic Type R Mugen Concept and as you're about to hear, it is extremely loud. When Mugen say this car is a concept, I think really they want to build it. They want to build 25 or 30 to kind of build up the brand, which they haven't really got much of in Europe. They've got it in Japan, but not in Europe just yet. So I think they would like to put this car into production. So instead of concept, think work in progress. It's got new chassis settings, it's got new springs and dampers and different tyres, but it hasn't really been honed yet. And if it's going to be a rival to something like a Megan R26R, it does need to be, because the standard Civic base isn't quite sharp enough as a driver's car. And what about the chassis? Well, it's better, certainly. It's improved. Mugen really want to get this torsion beam rear axle working. Honda are a bit upset about the criticism this car gets for having a beam axle when something like the Clio Sport has also got a beam axle, handles perfectly, so they want to get it working. They don't want to cut the metal at the back. I still need to work on it a bit though. I mean, it's an improvement, but as you can probably see from me being tossed about a bit, there's too much rebound damping, there's too much patter from the back end. They're starting to unlock the potential of this car. There's more work to be done. Now, Mugen's traditional speciality is engines and as you can tell with this it is absolutely peachy when you're on it and I do mean on it because it does rev to eight and a half thousand rpm it is it is brilliant I mean it sounds like the national wasp orchestra's trombone section are in the back seat but it is so linear and smooth and grunty and it's just it's really really good if you're not on it at all well, it's noisy all the time and it can get faintly embarrassing. So, should Honda make this car? Well, look, it's got 240 horsepower, revs to 8,500, it's got no rear seats. Of course they should make this car. Will it sell if they do? Well, that's the key. If they can sort out the chassis properly and bring it to market for under £25,000, I reckon, then they might just have a winner on their hands.